Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And we are doing uh, what you guys refer to as the organic standard American diet, what I like to refer to as the chubby Italian boy day of eating. And to simplify it, it it's basically what I eat for liver damage. You know, low amount of certain fats so you don't stress your liver too much and you don't excrete too many toxins at once. And then the large bulk of carbohydrates, sometimes fiber, is good for soaking all of that up and moving it through your system, maintaining a high gut motility. Uh, so it's actually just after midnight. And my schedule's been kind of the same lately. So I ate this exact same meal earlier. And I'll get up around 8, 9, or 10 in the morning. I'll drive down to work, finish up work around like 2 or 3, I'll get home, I'll eat something, I'll take a nap for a few hours, and then I'll get up, I'll do 4 or 5 more hours of work on my computer, and then uh, now it's time to eat my second meal. Sometimes I will have like a snack at work a few days out of the week if I have to do a lot of physical labor, but for the most part, I've been pretty consistent with this over the past few weeks, with the exception of like a few cheap meals where I had like a steak sandwich with potato chips instead of pasta and bread. So there's three components to this meal. Uh, you guys have seen the bread, sourdough, bread alone that I really like. Instead of making garlic bread, I've actually just been putting coconut oil and salt on it and I enjoy it just as much. So a bit less work getting the garlic out, rubbing it all over the bread, save me some time. Same with the pasta. I've just been having, you know, plain, Italian pasta, this is the brand I like, Durham Wheat Semolina. And same with the bread, just a little bit of coconut oil and salt on it. And what's different is how I'm preparing the steak. So I was just searing the steak in the pan with some oil and salt, but what I've been doing lately is, and I already did it earlier, but I'll pound out the steak really thin, like a chicken cutlet, and then I'll put it in the fridge for later. So these are the sirloin steaks from Frankie's Strange Meat. What I actually did was I sliced it in half and then half again, so kind of in quarters, pounded them out and salted them and then threw these in the fridge and I'm taking them out now. And we're gonna do organic white flour, coconut milk, everything's organic, and then some organic breadcrumbs that I saw in the supermarket that they just started getting that have a minimal amount of ingredients. Uh, so if I didn't have those breadcrumbs though, I would just probably do flour, coconut, milk, flour. And I started this because I was kind of missing uh, chicken cutlets and I honestly didn't think I would really like the steak cutlets that much, but I did. Uh, the key is you have to you know, pound it out with like a perforated hammer to get it nice and tender and thin. And then it's really, really delicious. Uh, I've been able to eat you know, more steak than usual. So get more protein and B vitamins in. So I'm gonna finish preparing this meal. All I'm doing is browning the bread in the oven the pasta is boiling away, it's almost done, and the cutlets are gonna sear in the coconut oil in the pan, so I will see you guys when I sit down to eat. So this is the meal I've been having for the past few weeks consistently, and when I try to stick like cleaner, you know, with rice and beans and regular steak, it's just not calorically dense enough. I end up eating chocolate bars and, and stuff that makes me break out and completely destroys my sleep. So although, you know, pasta, bread, that I've kept my skin clear, I've been sleeping good, and um, maybe I'll just have uh, some grapes after this meal, but this has really been it. A uh, couple times a week, I'll have the uh, Flextrose drink uh, with some lemon juice and ascorbic acid. I think I've showed you guys that several times, um, but pretty clean so far. All right. Almost forgot to mention our water kefir, and uh, we're selling this on Frankie's Free Range Foods now. And I'll just bring home like two or three bottles every day from work, so I don't have to like keep it in my house or make it in my house anymore. And uh, it's, it's it's been making me feel good. Um, I, I think someone told me that uh, kefir or kefir in some language actually means happy. And if this is made properly, you will actually feel happy uh, when you drink it. And uh, sometimes the alcohol content helps with that a little bit, but. I'm going to start chowing down because I want to get to bed at a reasonable time. I don't know, this this steak cutlet is so good. I could literally just eat like 10 of these and I'll be happy. 
when you have a high quality pasta or bread, all you really need is salt because that flavor of the wheat really comes out. And it's, um, it's pretty good. So maybe I drink about three cups of water kefir twice a day with my meals. Now I've actually been sold out of Masticum on organ supplements for the past month now, uh, but we should have some back in this week. And if you guys have been watching my H. pylori video, the past few day of eatings, you'll know that uh, my main antimicrobial has been mastic gum. And it comes like in, in small uh, little, they call it tears, kind of like very tiny rocks. And uh, you could do this in different ways depending on, you know, what type of digestive problems you're having. But I usually take like a small handful like that and just swallow it down with some water kefir. Now, if you want to increase the surface area a little bit, you could like crush it up in your mouth a little bit or even put it in like a, a spice grinder and make it into a powder. But what I also do is I'll take like maybe half of the amount I just swallowed, let it sit like in my mouth, like under my lip, uh, like chewing tobacco for maybe a minute and it'll get really soft and you can chew it like chewing gum and then the saliva that's full of like the mastic residue will go down into your stomach and help your digestion. I bet there's some uh, Greek people watching this that can uh, talk about how this is like in their culture as some sort of, sort of uh, like ancient remedy. The only problem is like I always overeat. Like I should stop now, but I always end up going like five or 600 calories more than I should. But I'm a chubby Italian boy at heart. So I'll try to save these leftovers, but I usually just end up throwing the pasta out because it doesn't taste good. The cutlet and the bread though is usually fine. I'll just warm it up in the oven. And I'll be honest with you guys, I keep over fermenting this water kefir. So I'm like completely blasted right now. I don't know what the alcohol percentage is, but <laughs> I'm feeling it. Uh, so we got some just organic uh, green seedless grapes, Biologique. Resins versant pepin, and uh, these are kind of hit or miss. Like these aren't sweet at all. These are kind of acidic. So okay, though. <laughs> I was reading my comments earlier, <laughs> and I saw, "Hey Frank, can I go on a date with you?" And my eyes kind of like lit up a little bit, and then I read the person's name was like Tyler. I was like, "Listen, if any of you lovely ladies would like to feed me grapes, I don't know, hit me up." Seems to be all dudes though. Listen, I've said this before. I would love to be attracted to the same sex and make things a lot easier, but uh, I mean, to be fair, if they keep putting estrogen in the water and the boys keep looking like girls, hey, maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, so that's going to be it, guys. I mean, I don't have much else to say. Buy my steaks, buy my masticum, so maybe eventually I can move out of my parents' house and I'll have some Russian hookers snorting magnesium glycinate off my cock. So... Uh, frank you guys can see all of my businesses. Uh, just drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, frank Check everything out. I'll see you guys tomorrow, as long as I'm not operating any heavy machinery.